hey guys welcome to my channel and welcome to this tutorial if you are new here please endeavor to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications so you get notified whenever i upload a new video to my returning subscribers i say thank you you guys for always being here for me okay okay for this for this outfit this gown I'm using this sequin fabric. This sequin fabric is what I'm using for the top part. So you can get half yard of it for the top part. Is what I'll be using. That's for the bodies. And then I bought 10 yards of bayonet that I'm going to be using for the ball. And then I got one yard of the hard net, which I'll be using to support the ball. And then also I got white and fabric, two yards. So all these things are what and plus the lining. There's going to be a white lining added to it somewhere around so the lining should be about two yards also because these are the items you will be needing to make a ball dress for a six years old mark the length of the bodies plus half inch for same allowance and then you go ahead to impute your shoulder measurement the shoulder measurement you're working with plus half inch also for sewing so allowance and then shoulder slope will be 0.5 which is half inch because the person is below 10 years and then you mark the neck I use 2.5 by 3 inches Connecting all the markings now from the neck to the shoulder slant. Then armhole, I used 6.5 inches for armhole. And that's aligning the armhole now to the bodies in order for it to have a straight line. Then you put your chest measurements, your waist measurements, connect every dot, and then cut out. Remember here right now to shape your armhole. So I'll be going in with 0.5 to shape the front armhole. And that will not be done for the back, just the front bodies only. And mind you, all these markings I'm doing, I'm doing on the lining. And then I'll use the lining as a pattern to cut for the sequin and also for the satin. So over here I've cut for the satin and the sequins. I also cut a belt and this is the lining for the down part of the outfit. I cut out the lining also, the V net, the length, desired length and the satin I also cut out the desired length also and for the hard net I cut out 5 inches of the length. You see shortly. Needed. Okay this is it. 5 inches the hard net I cut as much as possible because I'm going to be pleating it in the lining so 
so i've gone ahead now to sew and gather the satin and the v-neck together without the lining just the satin and the v-neck so this is the length of the waist the waist circumference is what i have here plus two inches which i'm going to use for the zip allowance So this is the lining of the skirt part of the ball gown and I'm going to be showing you how to put your hard net. So you're going to pleat, pleat your hard net like this and then you attach it to the down part of the skirt that you attach to the lining. I'm going to pleat it like this and then sew just like that. So you can bring the, pleat, the pleating close as possible, depending on how full you want it to be. And then you sew it on the down part of the lining like that. If you did it correctly, then you should have something like this. So this is the bodice that has already been sewn. And now we're going to be attaching the skirt part to it so what we need to do here now is to shape the bodies then attach the skirts to it When you are done sewing the gather, attaching the skirts to the bodies, sew the zip. And mind you, while attaching the, the bodies, you should have, have um, sewn your belt. So this is the outfit. Ball gown is looking beautiful.